Hey everybody, it is Andrea, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, thank you for coming by, and if you're a new subscriber, I really appreciate it. And if you've been here for a long time, thanks for coming back. It's been a while, and I'll tell you all about it once we get started colouring. It's not going to be a long video, because I'm still not feeling 100%. So somebody asked for me to do the Elvis picture in here. So I'm going to do the Marilyn one. I love this book, so I've got it ready in here. And let's just put that out the way into that side. And we'll start with Elvis himself. Some of the background I might do off camera. I'm using my Prisma colours. Prisma colours work lovely in this book, by the way, if you're thinking of getting it. Um, so, yeah, it's going to do that. Oops. Uh, wrong one. I've just been chatting with my friend Michelle, so that's probably her now on the, on the thing. So, oh, I'm going to have to weight this down, I think, then, I think. <laughs> I hope you're all alright anyway, so here we go. I've got shavings everywhere now. <laughs> anyway, right, let's crack on. So yes, um uh, about five weeks ago I got what they are terming in the UK a super cold because it is, it's not flu, it's not the Rona, it is just a cold, but it is such a bad cold, I do apologise if you hear Paul making noises, he's talking to one of his mates, um, and he, uh, so ha we, we both had it, both me and Paul had it, Jennifer had it first, and um, me and Paul got it, I was so bad, on the Monday, that on the Tuesday I took the day off and I thought I'm going to have to have some time off because I don't feel well. I was starting to cough a lot so we did uh, lateral flow which was negative, we did PCR test also negative um, and then at the end of the week I was still really bad and I could feel it was moving on to my chest so on Monday morning I rang the doctors, got a sick note got some antibiotics and so on. Now normally because I'm asthmatic when they give me antibiotics they give me a steroid called prednisolone. Now this time they didn't give me that and I was like okay fair enough perhaps she thinks it's not that bad. So I take the amoxicillin for a week and it's just not clearing. So the, the, the next Monday so this is week three I phone the doctors again I get another sick note, another prescription for a different antibiotic because the amoxicillin is not working and still a psyllin based one but also the steroids, so great. So by the, well I couldn't get, although the, the prescription was written out on the Monday I could not get it till the Tuesday uh, because there was an issue with the computers in the surgery, everything went down. And first thing in the morning, the phones were down, the computers were down, everything. So I said, no problem, I'll pick it up tomorrow. Uh, it was a sick note I needed, so I got that and emailed to me. Uh, it was just a really weird day for the poor surgery staff. I feel for them, I really do. And um, they... They did start to work. I got them on the Tuesday, started taking them straight away. And I, uh, oops, whoops. Um, by the end of the weekend, I was feeling a lot better. Still wasn't 100% though. So I thought, I'm not going back because the last time I had this, or something similar to this, and I went back before I was ready, I ended up in hospital f for two weeks and off work for three months. I was that ill. And I thought it's not worth the risk. Not now, I've got Jennifer and you know. So I got another sick note. I thought I don't need any more medication, I just need to rest. So I had another week off resting and I went back Monday just gone to this week which is great and I feel a lot better. I'm not feeling 100% today but it's uh, a stomach bug this time. I, I'm, I'm so run down, I think I'm so run down that I'm just getting everything under the sun and I'm still getting it. But I do feel a lot better. Just tired more than anything else. So 
so of course when I was ill I, I, all I did the week I was off the, the four weeks I was off all I did was I got up took Jennifer to nursery obviously the first week I rang in every morning the other, second third and fourth week I rang in on the Monday sent my signal in and I don't have to ring in again which was great so all I did was go back to bed all I did for the four weeks I was off when I wasn't taking Jennifer to nursery or picking up from nursery was pretty much sleep. I'd put the TV on, <clears throat> start watching something, get so tired, I'd go to sleep. I was that bad. And I could still do that now, but I am a lot better. I'm just having a drink of Diet Cola. Well, Diet Pepsi, actually. It's Pepsi Max. So like I said, this is just going to be a, a shortish one just to get me back into it. I will be finishing... Finishing? <coughs> filming my colouring book collection. <coughs> <coughs> See, this is the problem. Talking makes me cough. My Christmas colouring book collection. Because everybody seems to be doing that one and it's always a nice one to have a look at. So I'll be filming that probably tomorrow night. <sighs> but I will start pulling the books out tonight. Now I know you're saying, oh, you didn't finish the handling picture, but I don't know where it is. It's in a stack of unfinished pages somewhere. <coughs> oh. See what I mean? So bad. It is so so bad. Oh, and this is why I haven't been filming. I have been filming a couple of TikToks. I have two TikToks. I have Andrea the camera gal, which is all about the cameras that I buy and sell and keep and use. Um, I haven't posted on there because I haven't been listing anything, so I haven't been testing cameras very much. Um, and the other one is called Marilyn and Me. So if you want to check it out, it's Marilyn underscore and underscore me. And I am um, showing you my book collection, my items as I get them. Usually wait till I've got four or five. And then my, oh dear, my book collection. Uh, um, some of my clippings that I've got. I've got another one to do. I might do it tonight. I might not. When you done is it? I'm eight minutes in. I'm still not finished with it. Now, Elvis wore many different coloured jumpsuits uh, over the years. Mostly white. But he did wear blue and he did wear red. Because of the diamonds and the flashes. I'm actually going to do this red. Red and gold. Which would be nice, nice colour red. Oh. So, I was very, very sad to hear that my favourite actor. No, that's not what I want. My favourite, favourite actor, Dean Stockwell died recently he was 85 I want to say which is a good age but it's sad for me because he's only four years older than my dad so that worries me obviously um yeah he was only four years older than my dad so I'll do. See, my dad's still here. He's still very well. Dean Stockwell did have a stroke a few years ago, but uh, but yeah, I love Dean Stockwell since I've seen him in um, Quantum Leap, obviously. 
He was very good actor, he was in lots of things over the years. So. Very sad, but he had a good long life and he's left us such a lovely legacy of films. No, it can't be, you can't be too sad because at least we've got those memories of him, those photo wonderful photographs. Wonderful films, Anchors Away and Kim, The Boy With Green Hair, Married to the Mob, he was in Blue Velvet. He has been in so many things. I have to sort my prisms out because some of them are getting really short and some of them are just crumbling away. I've got a new box so I'm alright on those. Whoops! <laughs> so yeah, it's really good. The amount of films he left us. So, what have I been reading? Um, oh, I can't even think. I finished reading *The Light Fantastic* by Terry Pratchett, which is the second disc Discworld novel. Obviously, I've read them all. I just thought I'd reread a few of them, and I started there. I just haven't got very far through the series, but I did in enjoy it. Um, and I've read. I had, I don't know, I can't think. A new book on Marilyn came out this week called Mimosa. Um, memories of uh, Marilyn Monroe and the Making of the Misfits by Ralph L. Roberts. Ralph Roberts was her masseur, her personal masseur for many years, well, for the last three and a bit years of her life. And um, she, yeah, uh, he, uh, he wrote this m manuscript in the in the nineties before he passed away, and couldn't get it published. He couldn't find a publisher for it. They said it, said what he was telling wasn't sensational enough. In other words, it wasn't full of conspiracy theories and rubbish. Um, so it just sat in various draft forms for many years. The family posted bits of it on their website, um, but it finally is now available for publishing. Uh, it's, it's, it's done by Amazon Demand, publishing by you know Amazon Demand publishing. Like a lot of the colouring books we buy, or not. We move on to that in a minute, and um, so it's not over expensive, and it's a nice little book. I'm not going to say anymore because I'm going to put put a bit more on TikTok at some point. When I can bother to put some face on, because there's no way I'm going on to TikTok without any makeup on. <laughs> Most of it is not of me, it's just me showing things that I don't mind that. Um, yes, on to more Amazon stuff. Jade Summer has had their account cancelled by Amazon due to a trademark infringement to do with the title or subtitle of one of their books or a couple of their books, the last few books. I don't get this, to be honest. I, there's got to be more to it. Um, so I don't know. Because trademark, you can't trademark a title. So for instance, I could write a book called The Colour of Magic or The Light Fantastic. I could write a book called Goddess or icon or in her own words I could call a book Finding Marilyn I could call a book Carry On or Life Expectancy what you can trademark is a series so for instance Discworld it's a series Sword of Truth it's a series it's trademarked so you can trademark certain things, but titles generally you can't trademark. The other, it, it, there's a difference between trademarks and copyright, because the, the images are copyrighted. And it's a very, very grey law. It's very hard. So what they're saying's happened is that it was a very small thing to do with the titles or the subtitles of one or two of their books that could have easily been rectified, but Amazon wouldn't let them. They just cancelled the account. Now, I, I don't know the ins and outs of it. I do find it worrying because if they can cancel 
a big company like Jade Summer, and Jade Summer is a big company. They've been going for over five years. They probably saw thousands of books. Um, and they publish a lot of books, as we know. You know, it's, at one point it was two a week. Now, they... If it can happen to them, it could happen to any of the others that publish on demand. And there are lots of colouring books that we buy that are published on demand. Edwina McNamee, um, the Nice Little Town series. I'm trying. To, most of them are April Amber, Colouring Book Cafe, uh, Ava Brown. They're all on demand. So who knows? That's all I'm going to say. Who knows? Uh, Jade Summer are continuing at the moment. They've got three new books coming out soon and you'll be able to get them via lulu.com. Now, one of the things people are saying, yes, it's, it's more expensive because you have to pay postage. But of course, with Amazon, you don't. You either, if you've got Prime, you get it free pretty much within a couple of days. And if you haven't, you can choose a free shipping day. And you might have to wait three or four days. But you don't pay shipping. But not every company can afford to give free shipping. Amazon is so big, it can. Now I went on to my account and yes it's a third of the book so it works out about 9.98 or 9.95 or something like that for one book with the shipping. So wait till there's more than one, order three. The shipping won't be that much more, probably about 75p or, or a pound extra. It's going to be going as a, if it comes from a mail it'll be like a small parcel, it's too big for a large letter. It'll be a small parcel. Does it hurt to pay postage? No, I think we've become too entitled thinking we deserve to get everything free. We don't deserve it free. There's no such thing as a free ride or a free lunch. So why should we get free postage all the time? I'm an eBay seller, I don't offer free postage. Why? Because then I'd have to put the prices up. Because there's no such thing as a free postage on eBay. Not really. All happens is, is they look at the item and say, right, okay, I'm going to charge £5 for this, or say £10 for this. The shipping is £3.50. Do you know what? I'm going to put it on for £13.50, no offers. They build it into the price they're selling it at. Unless they're a hugely big company like World of Books, where they can, they get huge postage discounts because they sell, send so much stuff. And the shipping cost for Amazon, because they have to pay their drivers, is probably taken out of Jade Summer's cut of the book. So it could well be that they'll actually get more money per book if you buy it on Lulu. Now, they did mostly only do what they called PDFs or digital downloads on Lulu. Now, not everybody likes them. I don't mind them. I prefer a physical book. But a uh, digital download doesn't bother me. I've got lots of Eva Brown ones. Um, so they, but they are trying to get their print on demand on there, because Lulu prints on demand as well. So, and the paper is slightly better quality, apparently, which I think is sounds good. And I, uh, the Amazon paper doesn't actually bother me. Um, they did say that printed copies make up 98% of their sales. So a lot, obviously a lot of people prefer printed copies. I know a lot of people have gone out and bought a load of digital copies to try and help them out at this time, which I think is wonderful. Um, I haven't bought anything yet because I don't need anything. I've got so many books. And I am obviously trying to colour in every book I've got. <laughs> so what I've been trying to do this month is colour in every book I buy or every book I get. So I've had five Ava Brown books this month so far, uh, free from the company because I'm on their launch team, as you know. I've only printed out two of those, but both of those I have coloured a picture in. So that's great. One of the books I've got is Mythographic Wanderlust, which is a huge book, very detailed. And I'm thinking, oh my God, how the hell am I going to do this this month? But I think as long as I start it, 
that's fine I can carry on with it next month if I can finish it I will I, I, I know it's I think I know which one I'm doing this pencil's getting very small scarlet something lake probably but uh, as you can see it's not a long one anymore that's okay I'll get an extender for it in a bit Yes, I will will buy from Lulu when they put the new book out or when they've got all their books on print on demand because there's a few I haven't got that I want and I'll do about like three in a go in one go or something like that. So I am setting myself quite a challenge this month to colour in every new book plus I'm trying to finish off some whips from last month. Plus I'm doing um, Chronic Sarah's Chronic Colouring Down Under's Colouropoly. I've got three rolls. Uh, chibi, food and something with a word in it. I've finished one so far. But that's okay, still got plenty of time. I've started another one. That's downstairs because I'm, I'm doing a background with acrylic paint. And I can do it up here, but... It's annoying bringing the paints up and down and the water up and down and the brushes up and down because our bathroom's downstairs. I think probably if we had an upstairs bathroom, I would do more painting because it's, I do like painting. It was, it'd be easier. I'm not worried about going over the lines because it's all going to be red anyway. This might take a little while. <laughs> We're only always, when he does top half. Oh, 22 minutes in. It's getting hard to sharpen this one. <laughs> Find a different sharpener and an extender soon. Um, what else? Anything else? Anything else? Oh, so many books to read. I'll probably read and read something. I was sat by my bed. It's been there forever. But I am slowly getting rid of it. It's because I read so many books on my phone, on the app. I will put some different darker colours on in a bit. A darker red. The, although I do read physical copies, there's not that many moving off my piles so I've got one physical book to finish that I want to finish soon which is a Marilyn one another Marilyn one and then I will go and read the next one on the pile which is Stephen King Richard Bachman The Running Man then I've got the Julie Andrews autobiography the Hollywood part of it because it's in she's done it in sections because the Hollywood years is what I'm more interested in. Though I'm interested in her generally. Um, then I've got... The Return of the Native, which is a Thomas Hardy book. I love Thomas Hardy. He's one of my favourite authors. And I've then got uh, Sophie Kinsella. You see, I, I read anything. I've got a Sophie Kinsella book. <laughs> 20s girl. I've got my Agatha Christie complete Agatha Christie notebooks there as well. Oops, just dropped my phone. Um, what else? We'll use that one as the shader. Uh, that's the, the main pile. Then the next pile I need to work on after that is I've got a book on Shakespeare quotes, three Marilyn fictional books, which is a trilogy, and a book called about London. Big picture book about London. And I need to clear that off, so I've got somewhere to put my mm, diaries, I guess. I'm not going to fit there very well because the gap by the wall, but I, I can work that. They would fit better up on that one, actually. 
I'll do for now, um, so that I've got more space for my colouring books because I'm running out of space. And I still haven't finished one! That's why I'm trying not to buy as many, but I do still keep buying them. I've got Coco Wayo Chibi Christmas on the way. I got Chibi Christmas, I got April Amber's Chibi Christmas, I've got Jade Summer's Chibi Christmas. I'm, I am trying to, to slow down. So I was watching Grace today and she's still got 500 odd books, even though she got rid of some. I haven't got that far. I, I probably have got over 500 with all the PDFs, but without them I haven't. I just haven't counted the PDFs yet. That's something I need to start doing. I might start that tonight, actually. And I've, I've got a load of PDFs to put away I haven't done yet from last month. Oh, I've got so much to do. There's just not enough time in the day. I've booked Wednesday off, but that was to do a bit of eBay. So I think what I'll do is I'll do some eBay drafting and listing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll do a couple of hours of photography. Sorry, on Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday, I'll do some photography for the eBay and I'll try and do some stuff for the... Thing. I've got a new pencil. Oh, I know what I was going to say. The new Black Widows will be out soon. They're already out in Australia. Lucky guys. But that's, of course, where they're based. So they always get them first. Um, even though they've got to come from China. And then, apparently, one of the European shipments got lost. Now, this is mainland Europe, not the UK. The UK shipment apparently has cleared customs and is waiting to be booked into the Amazon warehouse. So hopefully within the next few days, it might appear on Amazon UK. <coughs> I'm sorry, Therese. I really hope they do because I think they're gonna be fab. I can't wait to get them. I have bought a new pencil case, but I've got to swap the pencils over. God, this is never ever ending this whole thing I've got to stop buying pencils if it wasn't Black Widows I probably wouldn't buy any more I do like the Black Widows I'm looking forward there's lots of reds in this set which I am absolutely looking forward to because red is my favourite colour always has been always will be um, I'm going to do a few more minutes to finish his first coat on his first layer on his cape and then I'm going to call it a night so I can get an early night so I'm really tired tonight and uh, Jennifer wants to go out tomorrow to the to Newport to town to have a look round. She thinks if we go to town she gets a toy you see. <sighs> Kids. She usually gets something cheap from the works actually like a colouring book or a cuddly or a dinosaur squishy. But, Look, can hear Paul talking to his friend. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's all that. I can't wait for the next set of Black Widows. They're called Dragons. Um, I will keep checking my Amazon see if they get they've got booked in so I can get them ordered. Uh, I've got a few Christmas presents. Not many. I might wrap them up on Wednesday if I can as well if I get a chance. If not, I have to be in the evening. That's all right. I've got one for Jennifer and three for three small things for Paul. Me and Paul don't buy a lot for each other, although God, he's gone mad this year. He's bought me a new TV for the spare bedroom because I spend a lot of time in there colouring and uh, I sleep in negative snores <laughs> sometimes. Um, but although I've got a smart TV and I've got an Amazon Fire Stick, He's actually buying me a smart Android TV. So it'll connect to the internet. I'll be able to watch everything I watch on the Fire Stick because it'll be on there like it is on our smart TV downstairs. So I'll be able to watch YouTube and Amazon Prime and BBC iPlayer and all that good stuff. But because it's an Android TV, I can also download certain Android apps onto it and there is one app that I use called Old Movies and it has lots of old movies 
on it. Now I normally watch them on my tablet or phone. But so yeah, the other TV will go into the other bedroom. And when Jennifer's old enough, she'll get a TV as well. That I'm gonna call it night. It's gone 30 minutes now and I'm tired. So I'll leave this for now. I will put my pencils together so I know which ones I want to use. And I usually turn them around, so as long as none of the reds are... There's one there, what's that red? That's an orangey red. Carmen red, that's fine, carmine red. I'll turn that. I should be okay, and I need to sort out my pencils. So, we haven't done much in 30 minutes, but we have started, and we'll carry on with this uh, in the next day or so. This is just a, just a quick one to say hello, and that I am better, and I'm going to be trying to make more videos going forward now. That I'm over that chest infection um, and I will see you very soon okay thanks guys bye